Hello, everyone, and welcome to the May Contain Action Podcast. This episode is powered by G Fuel. There ain't no party like a G Fuel party. Because the G Fuel party don't stop. Never forget that. I'm freaking crushing these. I gotta find the script again. All right, there Who we are go. you, Craig Robinson? I gotta find this. I gotta find, I lost the script. I lost the script. Uh, for a discount on your next order, you can cut that out. For a discount on your next order of G Fuel, use code MCA at checkout. That's code MCA at checkout. For a nice little discount on your G Fuel order. I am Paul, aka Action Jackson, and I am joined as always by my co host, the one and only, I am Trevor May, aka Trevor May. Oh, that's me. Oh, I'm sorry ow. about the uh, the delay there. I missed my mark. Yeah, that's all right. What's up? Hey, hi, I have nothing. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. I uh, was watching the. I didn't say anything in the chat because I don't think you could have even responded. But I uh, watched the Crown Channel show. Oh, you did um, with you, Chelsea and uh, Gina. 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 Yes. And you, and you guys were playing some game with uh, the Amazon um, assistant that yeah. is named something that I will not say because oh. probably people are listening on that thing right now. Alexa. And I, okay. Buy yeah. toilet paper. There you go. Crushed it. Yes. Yep. You and it, it was like what? It was like it was like Alexa was your your dungeon master. Yeah, it was actually. So here's the thing. So we did a little peek behind the curtain. We did a rehearsal. Uh, also, even before I say that, Gina probably our best guest in like I don't know since Golden Boy, which is not at all surprising. Not that we've had bad guests since then. But just like as far as how she got into it and how wow. she was just participating and just had a good time with it, it can be kind of hard to find that. So she did a great job. Um, but we did a rehearsal ahead of time and we played that game because they were like, all right, let's just like run through what it looks like to play the game. The game was like weird and I didn't know what was happening. and I didn't understand it. And I was like, this seems kind of weird. I, I don't know if I like this. But then by the time we got to the show, I was like, this is actually kind of dope because it's like you're playing D and D, but by yourself. But yeah, uh, but like there's an AI like progressing the story for you. Yeah, she pro- yeah she progresses the story. She she offers up different things that you might want to do. There's characters that you interact with, and I was like, this is kind of sick. Um, so they sent us an Echo Dot, and I was like, I might just plug it in the office and just like see how it goes. She yeah, like, I, I want to play too. It's night. not even connected. Sometimes yeah. she just talks in the middle of the stream for no reason. <laughs> That's horrifying. Hey, by the way, I'm not connected to the internet. I still can't do anything. Just want you to know that. Please, <laughs> please fix please. me. Thank please, you. Please. <laughs> please, I I desperately need the internet. I uh, I'm so lonely. Please plug me in. Uh, also, by say, the way, whisper I when right. you talk to me, and then she goes, "What did you say? What did you? <laughs> Wait, you can say that? Yeah, you can get your Alexa to whisper." I'm actually pretty excited about setting this up. I don't really have Alexa in the house. We're actually a Google family, but uh, this Alexa dot seems pretty dope. Also, that game, by the way, we're wondering is called Night Manager. Uh, Night spelled like uh, with a K. Night spelled with a K. By Night way, very manager. sick. Night Manager. Thanks for popping in, man. Appreciate it. Night Appreciate Manager. Well, I, by. That's yeah. I, honestly that sounds like some like where you're like the Night Manager of like Night at the Museum. That's what I'm imagining. Yes, it's yeah, such but not a, we kind of goofy. Like, it doesn't it doesn't say fantasy? You know what I mean? Yeah, it yeah. Says, that's weird. That's just I was like night manager, huh? I feel night like manager. I have keys and a flashlight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kind of like that, like night the, the night. So yeah. Um, also on uh, on my end, this has been a this thing recently announced. Just uh, as we get it in the pod as well. Is I'm uh, gonna be a dad. Gonna be a Paul's be a gonna be a dad. He pulled the trigger. He I really he went for it. I really did. I went for it. I went all in. Um, and now we're reaping the consequences of that because baby's due in May. Very exciting. Trevor Very Donnie exciting. J- Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst name I could possibly imagine. And then Kate, I told Kate that, and Kate goes, "No, it's Kate Donnie Jackson." <laughs> I'm like, why can't it be Kate Trevor hyphen Donnie? 
the accent. She's like, where's Elsie? I'm like, who? And then, uh, <laughs> who? <laughs> Poor Elsie. Yeah. She's so, she's so old. Old news. Old news. Yeah. So, uh, now everyone knows people were asking, man, was it, was it tough for you to interview Harris Heller and, and talk about being a dad without telling everyone you're a dad? The answer is yes. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just now realized that that, it ha- that happened. You yeah. had to do that. That's crazy. Yeah. Dude. I wanted I, to talk about it so bad. So, so Paul, so uh, I haven't told this story yet. So Paul uh, actually called me and Kate, uh, you know, a couple weeks back to tell us, Mm -hmm. and I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm clean, I'm cleaning up the, the, the garage and I'm I'm like, why are they called? I didn't even, didn't even fucking remotely like (laughs) dawn on me. I was just like, why are they calling? Do they want to see that? And you're like, oh, we want to see the house. I'm like, okay, here's the longest. (laughs) tour of my house ever before I mean, we I get did to it, i'm we like want just, to see it i'm just like walking around the house like just nice and slow and like they're just yeah. holding it in waiting for me and kate to both be on and then like 20 <laughs> minutes into the call i'm like oh there's kate and i go and then i give her the phone and then i lost something so i leave to go find and they're like, they're like where trevor go we're trying to tell you something so after the fact they told me and so you guys go so we're you suddenly dropped it and you're like well i don't know if we can come out because you know she won't be able to fly you know being pregnant and all and we're like, mm-hmm. and then we're like what and the first thing that popped in my head instead of being like oh my god that's amazing i was like oh my god i just stalled for so long <laughs> And I feel awful. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I told you. I oh, told you so that. Funny. Like, I was like, we won't be able to travel because she's going to be pregnant. And I looked over and I saw your face and you looked like borderline disappointed. And I was like, all right. Well, no, no. It, it was more like, oh, my God, I'm <laughs> such a dick. <laughs> like, that's what I realized in that moment. Oh, that's outstanding. I did not know that you thought that. I honestly completely. Completely honestly, enjoyed the house tour. I was like, I do want to see what this house looks like. It looked pretty dope in the pictures. So cool. you're fine. Well, I'm glad. I'm you're glad fine. It wasn't too the part bad. where you gave it to Kate and then walked away. I, I was kind of like, well, son of a bitch. Like, not that I don't well, want to talk to Kate. Like, I could talk to Kate about like coffee makers and everything all day. But I was just like, damn it, Trevor, where are you going? What? Ha- <laughs> so what happened was I dropped one of those headphones and it was out. It, it was out. It was like out on the ground so they could see the sun. So the music kept starting over and over again. So I was like, dude, go find the thing and turn it off. So like, and then I couldn't find it. So I'm like, what the? F-? I dropped it. So I followed back and it was on the ground in the freaking. So that's when I came back. I, I was like, okay, there it is. It was a little head. It's a wireless, wireless Bluetooth in the ear headset. So I'm like, I'm if I don't get this now, it's gone. It's gone forever. Yeah, yeah you have to. Forever. I understand. I understand. So I just ran and did it, but like you were like, uh, uh, it's funny. <laughs> That actually makes so much more sense now. All right, good. Yeah, we got off the call. I was like, I don't know if Trevor was okay with that. I mean, I think. <laughs> when, <laughs> not sure. When's the baby due again? March. Uh, baby's due May fourth. May fourth. So yeah. So May mark this date on your calendar, at least for yeah. the for the first I don't know few days. But yeah. Elden Ring, the oh. game, yeah, yeah, comes yeah. out on February twenty fifth, and it is co op. <gasps> What? And it looks, dude, it looks in, it looks so like Dark Souls. If it were like, quote, co op yes. Dark Souls, I think, I think the funniest thing ever would be us like just starting at the beginning I would, of playing it. I, I saw the gameplay of that and it looks nuts. It looks like some sort of Final Fantasy Dark Souls Breath of the Wild game, and I'm here for it. Yes. And you know that George R.R. R. Martin wrote the story. Are you serious? What? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> And oh, I believe the good. the head or the creative director was is a so so it has a, he's a Japanese game developer or yeah. director was the main guy guy and then the main writer is J.R. J. R. Martin so that's why you're seeing a lot of that stuff. Oh, okay, got it. But uh, but it's definitely like on the Dark Souls engine, Bloodborne. Yeah, like, it felt very Dark Souls esque. It looked like it, and it's gameplay. gigantic. Oh, dude, I'm so excited huge. about the lore there. <sighs> By the way, we should probably. Uh, hard left turn tell people what's going on it's the longest intro in history i mean we've had we we have no one to even intro so <laughs> <laughs> yes uh this episode uh to our listeners is going to be an ama if you have noticed oh, yeah. we have not we have no uh, uh guest today so um we tweeted and posted some uh the ama on instagram and on twitter uh asking some of you listeners to send us some of your questions and so we will answer some of them 
yeah. as we do not get uh, uh, too sidetracked. So we have not done this in a long time. We have done this since like June. These are the most relaxing podcasts. Yeah. Not that our other ones aren't like some. I mean, some of them are obviously they're very fun, but they're like you have to prep. You know what I mean? This yeah, is just like, yeah, you guys did it. You prepped for us, and we just answer questions, which is my yeah. favorite thing to do in the world. That is all my stream is. It's true. It's true. He does. He ignores people he's playing with to answer your questions. It's very true. Yeah, it's, uh, true. it's a problem. I, it's almost the point where I'm like, wow, yeah. man, I should consider not playing games anymore because I can't, I can't you have read the, or play. You have the reverse problem of most streamers, including me. We ignore chat to play the game and with our friends, and you're like, ignore the game and friends to answer chat. Yeah. Which is a good thing. I mean, yeah. it's good. It's good for uh, chat, I guess. Chat interaction. Freaking love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Our, um, well, we can get into these questions. Because I'm curious about some of these. So uh, this first question is from Mark D. Taylor 76 on Instagram. Uh, how are you guys? Honestly, making sure you're good. Oh, thanks, man. Mark D. Taylor. Uh, doing good. I'm personally doing good. I actually had a, a very uh, cathartic moment on stream yesterday where I just kind of expressed um, how the first trimester of birth of, uh, of pregnancy rather is pretty tough. Uh, obviously for Tirza, definitely. <laughs> Uh, well, that goes without saying. But also me. But also on me. Because uh, uh, I was just telling chat that she basically, the first like month and a half there, would you know wake up, go to work, uh, come home, like just fall asleep on the couch while eating whatever Grubhub that we got, and then go up to bed by like 7.30, 8 o'clock. Like, and that happened for, yeah, a long time. And so all like the responsibilities of the house and bills and all that kind of stuff was just basically me and i just wasn't ready for it so um all that to kind of say very cathartic moment on stream telling them why i've been so stressed and not showing up for streams for the past two months a little little tough but we're doing better now mark we're turning the corner on the first trimester and uh i hear the second trimester is even better so we're getting there it's going good and i uh, cleaned the house i actually uh broke down and had someone come over and clean our house like different sections of the house which i i don't know had this weird like i I don't know pride about like no one comes and cleans my house like i clean my own house but it was just so overwhelming we just uh, paid a woman to come over one day and and clean some stuff and it was lovely yep and honestly all things considered not that expensive i thought it was going to be hundreds of dollars and it wasn't it wasn't even close. No, it's not. And you can like get it done like once every couple. Just to, you know, it's nice to get a like a full clean in every yeah, once in a while. It is. Yeah. It's it's not as uh, it's it's fairly affordable. Again, it's not like a you know once a week thing or a live in person, but like you know once a month, once every two months, or just like spring cleaning. You're like, hey, come in and spring clean my house, please. And it's a couple. It's like at the most, it's yeah, it's, 120 bucks 150 depends on where you are yeah. and what they're doing but yeah like yeah yeah i think like ours was like 130 yeah for like it 130 was, bucks it was Great. not bad at all and the time amount of time it saved me it, uh, unbelievable so uh anyway i'm doing good mark trevor how are you doing how am i doing well kate's doing? in mexico uh i saw that she uh is key, uh, just making sure she gets a picture of every single mojito she drinks <laughs> And sends that to me uh, and then says, hey, by the way, you have this thing to do. Also, here's a picture of me with a mojito. So uh, there's that. She's living her best life. Yeah, uh, I'm going to be honest. Uh, her like doing what she's doing and being this like uh, idle for a bit is something I struggle mightily with anyway. So I'm sure I would just want to be here doing stuff anyways. But mm. uh, it still hurts. So uh, well, it hurts that she's there and you're not. Yeah, she's, you know, just like relaxing and that uh, I'm uh, mm. just want my medication to work. Uh, and then we got that going. <laughs> so we we're going and, and chat and everyone knows yeah. about this, too. Uh, but I'm oh. going down to L.A. for eight hours tomorrow to see a doctor. It's going to be awesome. Oh. oh, really? It's a personal visit on there? Yeah, you ha- you have to go in person. And uh, surprise, there's no one MLB certified up in the Northwest yeah. for some reason. Anywhere. There's so one doctor. There's like there? one guy in LA. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, surprise! It's not really well done. Who would have? Who would have thought? Like crazy. 
uh, the, it, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, but it's it's all good. It's like uh, you can we have non stops from Seattle to Orange County, and he's like, you don't have to go through LAX. It's like ten minutes from my office. Or mm-hmm. it's a small uh, airport, and there's a bunch of there's like all over the West Coast just non stop. So like it's an, uh, it's great pop in pop out situation. Uh, and I was like, oh cool, that sounds great. So I'm doing that tomorrow. I'm actually kind of excited because it'll be nice and warm down there too, and I get to be there for a bit. Maybe go to In and Out for lunch. I don't know, dude. Maybe yeah, live it up. Dude. Uh, but generally good, man. Off seasons are always good. Everyone's like, Hey man, 94 days till spring training. And I go, Whoa, 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 whoa. Pump those brakes, sir. Oh no. I like not doing anything. This is great. People say that to you? Oh, all the time. Oh. They want to let me know. They want to count me down to where I gotta go back to work. Oh. <laughs> but uh oh. no, things things have been good. The house is coming along. We're getting AC or we're getting a heat pump system installed currently, right? At this moment. Um and nice. just uh because it's like 30% cheaper than it is in the summer and uh oh, yeah yeah yeah, get a discount on it makes sense yeah yeah and every every all the guys are like this is like their slow season so they have a bigger team they're able to get it done faster oh, um, nice. this place is like got like a five-star rating with thousands of reviews like it's crazy how good they Jeez. are so um i'm excited about that but the house is just like come along man we're we're mounting a tv on monday and getting everything going and it's it's going coming along so um everything that we were planning on doing we're doing and it's yeah. good but it has officially started raining so i'm inside a lot so i was oh. telling chat today that i need to find a way to get outside today i think go touch some grass man <laughs> like go yeah go to the post office or something like i gotta do something yeah uh, yeah I, i've been here for a while um that said i i'm gonna order food though soon because <laughs> not smart kate, yeah. by the way kate gets uh notifications every time i order food she's like you've ordered food 10 times since it's been gone i'm like yes <laughs> It's actually more than that. I use another thing you don't see. So yeah. And how many mojitos have you had? You drunk? You you lush. You lush. Got her. That's... <laughs> got, got, got her. her. <laughs> Freaking got her. But yeah. No. Overall, great. Awesome. I'm doing phenomenally. Good man. Yeah. All right. Uh, our next question comes from uh Christian underscore underscore Quintor on Instagram. Uh, he asks, why the name? Uh, I'm assuming he means uh, the name of the podcast. Uh, why and why they want to stream and their goals. So, um, okay. grammar uh, wise, we'll work on that. But that, other why than the that, name? Why they want to stream and their goals? Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, there's yeah, a there lot. There needs to be um, another comment, maybe some more other words, but yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Couple extra words. Um, so, why the name? The name. Uh, I'll answer this part. I guess came from partly a Twitter poll we did way back in the beginning we did like a like what are the what are these names that you like and we we got some names from our chats when we were streaming together and then like some of the favorites from chat and then we went on twitter and posted like i think you did what what are the best names of, out of these three or something and then may contain action one obviously may for trevor may then contain action is action jackson me so got our names in there there you go it was that, that easy is. um it's Dang. a pun it's just a play on our names um because yep. it doesn't really represent what it's about or yeah anything so anything uh, at all. <laughs> so Not so uh yeah that's kind of what we're working with yeah mm-hmm. two guys and a mic was already taken so we just went with went with this two guys and a mic surprise already taken <laughs> two guys talking about stuff i love those descriptions i'm like man oh, no. i can't wait to watch this to listen <laughs> this, to this is gonna pod. be a good one uh why they want to stream so why do I want to stream in a nutshell? It's to money. What do what? I want to continue streaming? I want to continue streaming because one, it's my job, right? It's like my career, but specifically stream because I enjoy my community so much. Like I look forward, genuinely look forward to seeing the people in chat that I'm used to seeing. Uh, and then also whenever new people come in and then they interact and integrate with the people that are already there, the best. I love that. That's one of my favorite parts of streaming is when you see a new name, they're like, hey, I'm just coming to check this out. And they participate, they get involved, and you see your OGs interact with them, and then they have a good time. I love that. So basically, I stream for my community um, and for my job. I, you know, I, I do it. A lot of people go, why do you, st-? like, they ask me the question constantly because it doesn't, from a monetary standpoint, like a lot of people are doing to supplement income or, or, or it becomes that or they yeah. like content. But I just like making stuff like i just like 
like building things and building communities or or in this case building a community was super fun but um and and i had an opportunity from my other job to of of having a quote unquote following but not a following a community that i can like interact with regularly so i've kind of yeah. been able to kill two two of those birds with one stone and just like have it both together I have a place where i'm accessible and uh kind of pave the way a little bit or or uh, make some mistakes for the next gen- make some mistakes for the next generation of of athlete that is this is kind of becoming you know doing more stuff besides just going out and playing is becoming par for the course now for for uh, a- athletes I think that there yeah, are absolutely. people who like to play game it's not all about gaming everyone's like do you have to play video games to stream no you could literally just go live and talk on Twitch too like you can do yeah. all that stuff uh, since I started Instagram li- live exists now Twitter live exists. Uh, D, D live all this <laughs> caffeine all these other d- things that you can go live on um are, are popping up everywhere so you can find an opportunity to do it it's just the idea of being accessible and being live that is the thing that needs to that needs to ha- or that people can do and and should do if you want to continue to build your brand and make as much money as you can while you're playing baseball as well so that, exactly, that's kind of yeah. kind of where it started but at the end of the day like i've met so many awesome people from my mods to uh all my regulars and the people and i know it overlaps a lot with your stream as well and jen's Mm -hmm. i think we have a lot of of the same uh viewers and and it's become uh uh something that you once you're part of it you don't want to you don't want to like stop and that's Mm -hmm. i think that's why it's been super fun and i've been able to turn it a little bit into business and see how 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 to grow it and learn about like what to do what not to do when to stream when not to stream all that kind of stuff uh is also super interesting to me as well uh like just from a building standpoint. So it just kind of checks all the boxes for me. It actually is a uh, perfect uh, segue into the next question, what you're talking about there, because uh, it's Davey on Twitter asks, how important do you think finding a niche is when it comes to content creation? And I think you just kind of, I mean, talking about like, do you have to game? Do you have to game? Like, does it have to be a video game? Like, no, it doesn't have to be a video game. You don't, you could do just about anything online. You could, you could do just about, actually the most famous, Probably the biggest streamers now do literally just about any, yeah. anything. Like you look at these guys with yes. the highest viewership, XQC, Aiden Ross. Like I, I mean, no, Hassan. like Hassan. Yeah, Hassan. Like I, I'm not. I'm. I'm going to be honest. Like most of the time, like I watch for because there's a game, and then someone's playing a game that I want to play or I do play, and then watching them for ten minutes. Like all right, I'm o- I'm opening it up. Let's play. Like. Yeah, like, I do yeah. it to get that. Like Shroud plays New World. I don't play New World unless I watch Shroud for a little bit. And I'm like, and he loves the game so goddamn much that I love the game. So I'm going in. Mm. Uh, uh, so, but but you look at like Summit. Summit's doing whatever he wants now. I, I get they've been around <laughs> long enough to do these things, but like XQC is literally you who open it up. You have no idea what he's gonna do. Um, yeah. Aiden Ross is just chatting the whole time. He's got rappers on and and stuff. And I, though his content isn't my style, uh, mm-hmm. uh, from a from a from a context of like how he approaches it like you can do you can find ways to do that and just like he's just bantering with the people he likes and people like the 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 friend group he's in and stuff people who like that stuff they go in and yes, exactly. uh, and so it, it doesn't have to be like i gotta be really good at the game or i have to be charismatic or i have to play this popular game to get to this many viewers like yes of course playing call of duty warzone and playing Fortnite back when it was Fortnite and playing those games that are big give you the best uh, it's the higher highest ceiling yeah but it's exactly. also the hardest like the all the the that that level you have to get through to get to the ceiling is way mm-hmm. thicker and very hard to get like the noise yes. there i think to that separate people, yourself yeah i agree and i was just going to say for smaller streamers i think it's important maybe to um just just start like you well, i've said this before in the past a lot just like just start like just do it whatever equipment you have, uh, because I really don't think most people, maybe some people, but most people don't even know what they want to do in streaming until they start the process. Like you'll kind of experiment as you go almost unwittingly and find out like, oh, I like that. Or, oh, I don't like this. Or I don't have fun doing this. Or I have, I found success doing this. And it could be a whole host of things. Anything from just chatting to opening up Pokemon cards to playing a serious game uh, to doing a podcast. Like it's content creation is so varied and so wide that I think you should just start and then you might find something that you like along the way. Yeah. Uh, Unless you've just like, I've always wanted to make lightsabers online. Like, cool. You do that too. I'm sure there's a community for that. 
I mean, yeah. one of the closest. I at the end of the day, the community side of things is the is the best way that to translate people. If you want to change what you're doing, or you're still finding that thing, like yes. the tighter knit your community is, the more likely they are to go with you. Yeah. And I feel like you and I, we have we. I would say we have like a. There's a group of probably 150 to 200 people mm -hmm. that our notification goes off. They pull our stream up. Like yes. And if we're going at the same time, most of the time that we're they're both up. And exactly. I don't know. We're, one of us is getting the view. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, it's so so like our number generally when you, me, and Jen are together and we're playing a game, our numbers generally will probably spread out a little bit. And we'll all be a little bit lower than usual, especially mm -hmm. if like I don't know, Loop or someone else. I don't know how it is with Lupo now with on 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 YouTube, oh, true, but if, YouTube, yeah. if we overlap with someone else who's on Twitch, um, but that's that's we have a group, but we play something, they're going to give us a shot. Um, it's got to mm -hmm. be extremely boring of a game in order to not get a shot. We got a great shot during New World. We all kept our, if anything, I got viewership higher than normal, which is yeah, crazy. Yeah, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun, and it probably time, but like of course, you know, uh, 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 Lost Ark just completely just did, murdered mine. Like, but it was it was so different than anything mm -hmm. I've ever played, like so different to where I didn't even know what I was doing. Like that's different. But I, the thing that's really interesting to me, and here's, here's a prime example of the way to be quote unquote unique or find a niche. And I think this is a good, a good way to think about it. Hmm. It's not about like, so the big categories are the game you're playing and like the, the way that you interact with chat. Like those, there's, those yeah. are big, those are big buckets, but there's other things, smaller little nuanced stuff that can separate you just slightly in how you approach those things. Like play a game, if you play a game, but you're playing it in a different way. Right. You like, like you're the, you're the one to like do the snipe montage as opposed to, is that, yeah, like, or like, like, or for example, you play Call of Duty and was like, oh, this guy plays Call of Duty. This guy literally never uses anything but a sniper rifle. He only uses snipers. That yeah, could, okay. that could get you noticed because you're True. doing something that's very hard, but it's also like you have to be patient. You have to stick with it. Oh, or like the guy that literally makes a controller out of anything. Guy who makes controllers out of anything. That is his uniqueness. Like, I, how he I approaches used a grapefruit to play, you know, and he gets like one snipe and he posts that and like that blows up. Yeah. The guy that did the YouTube video of World of Warcraft where he only killed boars to get to 60. There, yeah. I mean, yes. Having a thing. You have to be willing to put like grind though. Grind Those though. That's separate yourself. hard. But it's anything worth doing is going to be hard. So don't expect to find a, a unique thing you can do that might be easy. I mean, unless you're just very skilled at it, you're going to have to like really try. So yeah. like, like, for example, my the robot arm thing was an idea that I had. I was like, okay, the robot arm thing, it, it's a way for people who are the community who's watching to actually manipulate in the, the light, real, real life in my room. Like, that's unique. Yes. Now, yes. I didn't take it very far, and I did some very basic stuff, but like, that's going to come back and we're going to get pretty crazy with it. I think like to the point Ooh. where like I, I, cause I'm, it's only a matter of time for I'm, I go into three printer, 3d printer bill and start being a nerd with 3d, oh, printer. God. but I would yes. love for my 3d printer with 3d print me something that people could choose. Like they did it and just automatically did it. Like that's made cool. me a little coin. Yeah. And I'm like, thank you for that. Like, so a donation actually gave me something physically. That's the, pretty like, sweet. That's cool. That would be cool. People would be like, yeah. I'll give that a shot. What? Yes, or, exactly. Like that would be that would be a cool way to do it. Um, here's a prime example. I have a charity stream next Sunday. Nice. Uh, one of our incentives is, and, and Paul, I haven't run this by you and Jen, but I, I assume <laughs> that you guys would be super in. That, yeah. The, cause, so Kate can play Phasmophobia with you guys, dude. That'd be for amazing. a game or two. That'd be. However, incredible. now the thing you need to know about Kate, I hate scary games. Kate hates scary games twice as much as me. Oh, perfect. Terrified. She, she the things that make her anxious. She runs away. <laughs> now there's now there's there's a there there is a a twist. I ordered something called a woozer. Have you seen a woozer before? Paul? No. What is a woozer? W o o j e r. It is a haptic vest. No so you, way. You put it on, bro, and the no. sound it like translates sound from the game and like gives you the feeling on your chest. So you're like you're kind of in it. So she's gonna wear a haptic vest while no. she's playing. She Fasmophobia. agreed to this. Yes. <laughs> So like it's gonna like when yes. because it's quiet the whole time, so you'll hear like gentle like you know just the wind and the creaking of everything, mm -hmm. right? And that'll like gently touch your body. But when the ghost is near you, it gets loud and scary. It's like a jump scare, right? Exactly. It's like Ugh, like immediately, and she, it'll start rumbling, and she'll be like ah, like it'll be so <laughs> funny. It's like she'll be horrified. And and what we're gonna do is we're end up we're probably each gonna do a hunt. 
So we'll each do one like for an hour or whatever. So we'll okay. do one. We'll go we'll, like we'll go in. We'll get we'll block out an hour where Kate's going to be involved, and that's going to be a stream. But that's going to be one of our incentives. That's a way. Great stream idea. To take exactly that's a way instead Unique. of just being like we're playing phasmophobia. A lot of people play phasmophobia and are scared. Like, yeah. but this is going to make me extra scared and you're going to see how i react to not only the game but also what i'm wearing and i'll and when people started putting like uh you know like heart rate monitors on and stuff like that yeah. would be a unique twist so there's ways to do it you just have to try it yeah just have to try it find what works for you find what you feel comfortable doing as well um or maybe uncomfortable for a little bit of time but yeah. being yeah. uncomfortable is actually a huge way yeah <laughs> yeah true um, I love that. All right. Uh, moving on to uh, another question from Virtual Shogun. Uh, he asked, "Why did you guys stop using the script you used you used to have?" Uh, Trevor probably better answer that. Short story, uh, uh, or long story short, yeah, it got stale. Um, and mm -hmm. Kate came on um, as a product manager, and like she has a lot of skills for you know uh, figuring out if things are Managing working or not. Project? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she's like, just, she was asking a lot of people. She went and did some actual interviews with, you know, our mods and people who listen to the pod regularly. And they told us what they liked the most about the pod. And uh, surprisingly, it wasn't really about the interview part. It wasn't like learning new things about the pod as much as uh, the guest. It was more about the funny stories and the banter. Like that was it. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that that is probably like we had a couple of questions we asked every time that became kind of uh, the lifeblood a little bit of the show. I think yeah. I think we can mix those things in like like instead of being like, what's your favorite fast food being like. Streamers and people who live stream when people are live, they order food. Exactly. Because yeah. it's the best way to get some food. If you're going to order food, what are you going to like fix Love mixing that. that in? Yeah, yeah. And asking that question more. I think that can make a comeback. But we're definitely trying to just basically have conversations that we just don't have on stream i th I just think that that is what the the idea behind this this mm -hmm. this show is i think that's why we started it we wish we could sit and just just chatting more and just like sh actually shoot the shit maybe give a little bit of peek behind the curtain like you said earlier mm -hmm. and we didn't we I, we realized we were getting really scripted and yes, we didn't want true. it to be that scripted and then with the feedback from people who listen regularly they said yeah you know sometimes we're not interested in a lot of the scripted stuff. We want it to be more off the cuff. And so we're, yeah, now we're exactly. taking that to heart. And honestly, it's easier to do. <laughs> yeah, it is much easier to do. And it's more fun. And it's yeah. what we do on stream. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's, you nailed that. That's exactly how I feel about it, too. Uh, I'd love to get some of those, like, again, restructuring maybe the fast food question back in. Because I think it's fun. Uh, and it does provide for more banter without being like, what was your first memory as a child? You know, because not everyone apparently is interested in that, which is fine. Um, all right. Our next question is from, uh, John or possibly Yon. I'm quite sure. Uh, Winan. I think it's probably John. John Winan on Twitter, uh, asks, okay. He asks, when are you doing, going to schedule a celebrity streamer softball game with a side event where the streamers have to bat against Trevor? Every ball put in play, Trevor donates to charity. Uh, free. Every strikeout, the person batting donates, sell tickets to fans, and donate it to charity. Um, well, again, I mean, obviously, we've been we've been talking about this forever. Uh, not the softball game part so much, but definitely like the the BP, the batting practice type of thing. And but I do like the addition of the charity. I think that's fun. I think it'd be kind of cool. I, I uh, yeah, I've no problem. Trevor would never have to donate, so that would be tough. Yeah, uh, well, that's fine. I would, I would just, I would just match, or yeah, I'd find a way to do it. Just the way that I do every time I do a charity event, like today, we did a charity event with USO, and I was like, all right, every homer, I'm donating ten bucks, and then I was like, and every run I score, let's do that. So we gave a nice little donation to USO today, and yeah, uh, Paul, you contributed. XJ hit a homer today. So did I? You, uh, you, you gave some money to that pot, uh, dude. Sign of things to come for uh, when I face you. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna happen i don't get it uh, it's whatever uh, once we set a hard date i'm practicing i mean paul's going to the cages three times a week minimum and just getting his reps in well you know i can give a little context then uh, uh my goal is late february which is mm -hmm. happens to be around when elden ring comes out but in that general area when mm -hmm. i've been at spring training for 10 10 ish days mm -hmm. um to do to get everyone down because literally 
Cloak moved down to Florida. Tim moved yeah. down to Florida. Nick Merckx moved down to Florida. Like, it, you know, you could go down and see Tim. Yeah, exactly. Right? Uh, uh, I understand that Tears that probably wouldn't be able to come because it'd be very close. But, like, come down for a yeah. weekend. Uh, um, actually, yeah. to be honest, it's still, like, six weeks out. I don't know, third trimester? You, yeah, she probably Yeah, I don't know how that works. Uh, yeah. She probably wouldn't even want to. Pro- probably frankly. March, April, May. I mean, she, yeah, she's, yeah, she'll be the end of the second trimester. It'd be very, yeah. Whatever. We'll play it by yeah, ear. We'll, we'll see it when it is. Um, but, like, I could get you down uh uh the schedule's not super strict right out the gate too so I, like i could use a day like a bullpen day that i was going to throw a bullpen and just pitch mm-hmm. to you guys um we, nice. we we have all the all the stuff down there covid is not quite as big of a like as long as you know people are vaxxed or whatever like they you know like, yeah yeah it's very easy it won't be that big of a deal there won't be as many hoops to jump through um and then getting fans out and stuff could be an p- option if if it's open to that and for charity um and the mets i think would be interested t- to do that as well um and i'd just be like everyone bring your cameras or whatever and let's let's all make youtube videos because this will be yeah. great uh and in you, terms of the, yeah. the 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 softball game i don't know if that'll happen but Taking That's actual more organization BP. and all that, yeah. Well, yeah, that, and I just don't want to play softball. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it would be really interesting to like have someone actually throw real BP, let all the guys swing and warm up, and then I come in as the ma- main event. Uh, maybe yeah, even yeah, get yeah. a couple other guys to throw. Like it, it's all possible. So we're looking to do it in February uh, because we'll all be in shape again. I was going to try to do it in October, but I would have had to stay in shape for two weeks, and then I decided I didn't want to do that. <laughs> that and nobody committed except for courage so uh, there's there gonna go. be just me and courage and maybe symphony which is funny but oh yeah i, I, I would love everyone involved because i think we can get lupo i think we can get marcel i think people would like jump at the opportunity to go down like around spring break ish time close uh to down to florida even though yeah. i would never do that if i had the opportunity other people seem to like it <laughs> seem to like it down there so yeah we're going yeah. for it we're gonna try and we're gonna try to do it in february awesome Okay, that's that's good. I can plan on it. I can tell tears. I can can kind of prepare for that. That that would help a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think it's great. I think getting the Mets involved too, and especially doing the whole charity part of it would be amazing. And then you know, if, however much or if the Mets want to get involved in that too, that'd be super cool. And it would only help them. It would only help them. Only benefit yeah, them. Yeah. To do actually, like that. and really quick side note, I've actually talked to GCX. Um, they asked about doing a spring training esque event or something around Ooh. spring training because they yeah. have relationships with other players as well. So they want to do something that's like a side event to the actual GCX uh, fundraise that is in the middle of the season. Yeah, um, because I usually can't make that. Um, and I was like, well, you know, if if we we can we can I think it'd be cool to marry it a little bit to uh, to this event and maybe either make the raise like we said for gcx and St. Yeah. jude which would be cool and then have like some sort of after party that's uh got a little like uh i don't know we do a live episode of the pot or something and we and yeah we do a like just bring people in to come sit down talk to us for five minutes and then you know go back to the we have a little thing at my house or whatever and drinks and whatever have people over i think Love that'd be that. cool i think it'd be fun and a good cool way to raise money for a few hours and obviously i don't want to make anyone you know, like have to be, Hey, by the way, we're doing a fundraiser, you know? Yeah, no, I know. As opposed to hang out with your friends, but like, just do a little thing, attach it. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. So John, I hope that answers your question. We, we, we do very much want to do that. It's happening. It's yeah. happening. It's happening. Um, our next question from Peter. Velocity. Velocity. On Twitter asks, uh, why not do another Genticles episode to get the update on how her streaming career has changed in the last year? Um, so I think that we, I have definitely thought about it on my own, and I know we've talked about it uh, corporately as the pod of doing repeat guests and having other people back on because I do kind of want an update on how people's lives are going and what's going on, especially with the new structure. It, it will be less about like knowing their, their their backstory and how they got started and more about like how how what are you doing right now what what excites you right now what are you dealing with right now what do you think of this thing that just happened in the news or you know whatever more current event style and i think that would be really fun i think that'd be a blast to do so and then even like you know having jen back on seeing how her career has progressed because we had her on very early in her career and much has changed for her so finding that out for people that don't necessarily follow her or watch her streams every day would be amazing so um 
It's not that we are not going to do it. We, we definitely are. But also at the same time, while I'm saying that, I have a bunch of other people I still want to talk to. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's so many cool people out there that I want to. Uh, I'm like, I'm looking through. We just, like you said, we did the fight night and Gina was on there and she's a host on G4. And I'm like, I want the whole G4 cast on the pot. Like I have so many questions for them and they're such fun people. Um, so it's kind of a mix of both. It's we want to get new peeps on because we're interested in their stories and I want to get an update on the old people as well. So I agree. 100%. I, I think that um, it's always an option too. I mean, you, you think about content creation or whatever, like, you know, sometimes you touch on the best stuff that worked in the past too. Yeah. <laughs> as well. Yeah. But I, I think it, I think yes. now, especially with how we've kind of leaned into the, I don't want to call it a new format, but just kind of relaxing the format a little bit and just getting into stuff being able mm -hmm. to like bring up a, a topic that's not we weren't anticipating and then going off on it for a little bit being able to do that i think that's great and i think that'll be even better when we have people on um getting updates from them maybe talking about stuff i love the peek behind the curtain thing i love the idea that yeah we we very much and I, I i realize this more and more i tend to get pretty candid and maybe a little deep when i'm by myself on stream but i don't think that i do that with other people very much i don't think that we get into into like talking about different topics that much on stream because i'm very much like we're all especially me and you all we're mm -hmm. like very like oh maybe we should just uh, let's just stay neutral like on a lot of things that yeah. i can yeah. be really really strong about talking about mlb and baseball but other than that mm -hmm. I, because i'm comfortable in that world and going in deep on that but everything you're else about, you're talking about being on the pod or you're talking about uh, on just like on our streams stream. i think that on our streams yeah. we just we tend to just like keep it general and play the game and talk about the game and like Mm -hmm. and mostly dick jokes but that's <laughs> that's that's just low-hanging fruit i think that everybody uh, pun intended pun intended but I'm i think that everyone goes there um and so yeah it's 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 i love that we can just so it, it, just like have a conversation and i love that we can have people on and be like i would love them to be like hey yeah uh, uh now that i have a full year of streaming under my belt here's how hard 300 hours a month is and here's how hard <laughs> like here's the issues that i'm dealing with i don't know yeah. if you saw the forbes article or no, no wall street journal article coming out about oh i, I had that pulled up on a chat i didn't read it yet so uh Did yeah it's all stuff issues? we know about they're just talking about like uh it's hard to take a day off my back hurts all the time and Whoa. yes like there's anxiety at attached to like being beholden to other people to give you income all the time that you have to please them constantly like yeah. that is what your life yeah. is and mm -hmm. it's very hard to find time for yourself more so than it, most other jobs because it's directly correlated like every there's you have hundreds and thousands of bosses so it's like it's very very weird uh uh dynamic and basically that's the story that they were telling in the comments yeah. bro the comments oh it's just I, such I like yeah really what about like that. people who do labor and make that what about it oh, that sucks too man gosh. why that is there, also why is there... sucks i think the point is that they both suck <laughs> the what about ism i can't like stand. yes i'm not saying i'm not in no way shape or form am i taking away from how difficult what you do is like that's not the point yeah you that gets talked about all the time everyone knows that bricklaying sucks man dude yeah like, everyone knows that People don't have no People one don't has have a monopoly, a monopoly on suffering. Like we get it. Like things are hard, but they're hard for different people. And it's like, not the point isn't even that it was hard. It's just like here's 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 what this is, and here's the side effects of doing this as much as you can. And this is why it's difficult because it is. Don't assume anything's easy because especially if it's something you've never done. So that was the point. I was like. Yes. Do I think playing Major League Baseball is harder than streaming? A hundred thousand percent at times, but they have di it's difficult for different reasons. Like if you're sitting in a room by yourself all yeah. the time, things come along with that. You live alone. You don't exactly. have a significant other. Like how do you meet people when you're streaming 10 hours a day outside of video games? You There's don't. unique challenges. It's very unique. We that no one has a playbook for yet. And so these articles serve to put more information in the collective consciousness about how to deal with this career or what pitfalls you might experience or what to avoid like i feel like i am actually now an evangelist for like standing more during stream and stretching and i wish i had listened to people because i'm going to a chiropractor now to fix issues from my job which is i sit around all day but it has devastating effects on your body 
So stuff like that, like if I share that, like, of course, if I laid bricks, I'd probably have a worse back. But we know that laying bricks gives you a bad back. No one, no one really talks about how playing video games for seven hour days might give you a bad back when you're 30. Like it's implied, it's really, but yeah, it's really important too, because it's something everyone's like, dude, you <sighs> sit around and play video games all day as a kid. You're never going to do it. There, there is a little bit of it. Yeah. That, that there is truth <sighs> to that. Like it's yes. not, of course, you're not going to melt your brain. That's stupid, but yeah. like health is important. And you know, video kids are watching lots of streams more and more and more and more. And they want to be YouTubers and content creators more and more and more and more. And when those people can say, Hey, there yeah. are pitfalls. So be aware of these things and, you know, be aware of them when you start, because then you can, it'll never be a problem for you if you just stay on top of it. Like exactly. that's important. And people should be able to talk about that shit. Yeah. Everyone should be able to talk about everything that, that is sucks. I got to read this article. I got to read this thing. It's, hey, it's, good. it's a good Journal. article. And everyone's said- like, it's a it, Wall Street Journal. Yeah. And, and it's a good article, but like someone was like, get an actual big streamer on here. And it's like, <sighs> why, why does that matter? I think we've been very clear. There's like a thousand people on Twitch that make more than the median household income in the, in the, in the country. A thousand yeah. out of 8.8 8 million. <laughs> so, like, exactly. they by no means represent the majority. They, yeah. I know means. I know means, and they were given, and the the narrative that like then someone was on there. I'm sorry, I I delved into this a little bit, but someone was on there. I thought it was learning a learning opportunity. Someone's like, it's all about who you know, bro. All these guys who are big got big because they knew somebody. And then I look at mine, I'm like, that 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 that's a luck part of it. There's a luck part of it. That's not all the way. It helps. Yes. Is it the only way? No. Is it very hard to do other ways? Yes. But it's hard in a lot of different ways. Just like if you're a kid who plays baseball in the middle of nowhere in montana and there's no scouts Mm -hmm. there you're the chances that you get seen without going anywhere or doing anything Mm -hmm. or grinding out for a long period of time is much lower than a kid who is in dallas texas and playing in the biggest programs in the country and it's good exactly he is going to be seen and be given an opportunity probably before you because of who he's playing against and where he is right now and that is luck. Malcolm Gladwell has a great book about it. You should read it. Ooh. Can't Malcolm. remember what it's called off the top of my head, but, you know. Yeah. It talks it's about something. how important luck is for success. Yeah. Like Bill Gates. He got really there lucky. Go. Right place, right time. He got to yep. go play in the computer lab at University of Washington when he was 16. Dang. Yeah. No one knows that because his parents I- were like donors to the, uh, to the school. Pretty much if you got money, you'll be fine. Is what we're saying. It helps. It helps a lot, but it's not the only way. <clears throat> no, no, of course not. I'm from a small town in Washington, but you know why I got seen and got drafted? Even though I wasn't drafted as high as I could have been if I was from California or something, I got drafted fairly high because I went to 150 tournaments. I was oh, all over damn. the place. I played in Florida. I played in, uh, went to East Cobb in, in Georgia. I went to Texas. I went to California. I went to, you know, I, I went to Arizona. I played in all these tournaments, played with a bunch of, tr- t- my dad basically said, hey, you know, I will spend the money to send you these things, but it's got to work out. <laughs> <laughs> and it fortunately it did, but like that's what it takes. It takes that sacrifice. Yeah. So you don't just like get it because you know somebody. Like it's just, yeah. So still money. So streaming, same way. It's yeah. just like anything. Yeah, try true. Try and try and do it. Yeah, or pay to be put on the front of the. Dude. Or just yeah. or just get your community That's a thing now. So to you put you on the, on the front page. page. Because yeah. front page equals success. Everyone knows that. As <laughs> soon as you get lots of viewers, they all come back immediately every time forever. Yeah, exactly. Everyone right. knows that. Yeah. Uh, on that note, we can head into uh, the final part of the podcast where we, uh, surprise, surprise, talk about us. Um, so we usually do the what's next for our guest, but I'll ask and then I'll answer. Trevor, what's next? For you, what do you got coming up? What's next for me? So the the major projects that I'm working on currently are I am working very hard on consistently uploading to YouTube channels. Two of mm-hmm. them. The uh Trevor May baseball channel and the I am Trevor May channel. So I am Trevor May is anything that isn't baseball. The other one is baseball. That's it. That's how they're that's how they're grouped. I'm sure a lot mm-hmm. of people listening right now um are uh are aware of that, but anyone new? 
Go check those two channels out. The baseball channel currently has, a bu- it's got my vlogs I was doing from the season. Next year, we're going to do a lot more. But recently, it's just been like fun content, ta- ra- ranking pitchers by ranking pitchers by their seasons, a lot kind of stuff. And then there's some educational stuff too. So like if you want to learn about what I do to get ready for a season, things mm-hmm. like that, uh, that's all there. But also there's just like goofy like reaction stuff to baseball re- related stuff. And then on the other side, we got a lot of time will be the show happening right now. The stream team's got its own series we're doing. And we're doing, we're starting to react uh, situation in the stream right now. We're raising, we're going to put together a pot of money. Paul, you actually might like this uh, hmm. idea too. I would actually recommend that maybe you do it. Last year we did uh, something around Christmas, which I saw streamers doing, um, where you can basically people send you their Amazon wish list and you can pick an item and get it for them for Christmas. Um, and like I thought me that was, as the streamer get it for him? Yeah, use use the stro- nice. streamer. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the pot up by doing make me laugh. So every time you make me laugh, and during these these times we do them, we're doing them every Sunday basically. Every mm-hmm. time you make me laugh, I put twenty five dollars in the pot. Oh, uh, cool! And then you pick someone's so gift. We're gonna yeah. So we're gonna do that when we get to mid December. Then we're okay. gonna do a stream where we take that pot and we say, okay, we have this much money to work with. Let's set a limit per person, and then we'll give away. We'll pick this many oh nice this many so everyone knows like around like what they're going to be getting if they get chosen so no one's like i want an N- nzxt pc i'm like well that's not an option i'm not I can give you <laughs> you can have this or up to a hundred dollar gift card for amazon so you could if you yeah. want a, it to be cheaper but you want to pay the full price that can work or i'll pick something choose so ah. we're doing that um and you got to go to my discord and there is a uh text channel it's right, right at the top trevor reacts to videos so just post that. your videos there, TikToks, uh, YouTube, and please, please, for the love of God, DMCA, just don't. Just don't. Uh, don't. <laughs> if it's got DMCA or anything, yeah. you think it might be like we're gonna we're gonna audit these things before we watch them, but still. Um, but we need lots of them because the reactions are really fun. I enjoy doing it, and I think it's a good way to uh, raise money. And we're also doing uh, any donation that's directly to PayPal also is going right into that pod too because I don't really get many of those. So, when, but when it does happen, I'm gonna mm. also throw those in the pot. So we're doing that uh on sundays and not this sunday but next sunday i have a big charity stream coming up uh we talked about it earlier in the pod with a milestone yeah yeah yeah. um but we have a charity stream we are uh going from about 11 to about 6 p.m pacific time Mm -hmm. uh that's sunday the 21st of of november and we will be playing minecraft where you can ruin my life for three hours yeah. Um, basically just like make me drop all my stuff and I'm trying to beat the game and I can't find anybody and I'm probably just gonna die over and over, and over again and donations will be able to do that we have an auction running where you can get really cool stuff including like a all expenses paid trip to spring training um, Ooh. is one of the things you can win and we also have a raffle so you every time you donate 10 bucks you're gonna be entered in the raffle for a bunch of really cool stuff swag bags uh, peripherals si- signed balls all kinds of stuff um, and then uh, we're also doing a Pokemon break for the second half so you can buy into those and all that money also goes to the charity. Jeez, so man. there's a thousand ways to win stuff, participate, do whatever you want. Um, it's going to affect the stream in a thousand different ways. It's going to be a lot happening, uh, but it's yeah. gonna be so fun. We have some uh, huge goals, uh, but one of the biggest, our hot top goal. And I think you're going to love this mm-hmm. chat. And if we hit our, if we hit the goal, the highest goal, you guys get to choose five words. We're going to decide on five words. We're going to vote on them. We're going to do five this words. live on the screen. Okay. Yep. Those words have to be worked in to an interview during the season live on TV. <laughs> so I can only, and the rule is I can only use two max interviews. So this means there's three interviews where I'm doing this minimum. Um, <laughs> and you, and we get a vote on the five That's words. Obviously awesome. they, can, they can't be yeah. swear words, but you guys, we're going to be looking like, Post game interview or a spring training interview where I yeah. have to work in the words you're telling me to work in. Um, it's going to be hilarious, but that's only if we hit the highest goal. And I haven't announced what the goal is because that's going to come out on Monday. So I'm going to keep that a secret. Outstanding. But actually, by the time this episode comes out, yeah, um, you would have outstanding. Known. But uh, hopefully, okay. it's not after. I just thought actually now, what is this a week and a half? I hope this comes out before. Oh, God. <laughs> uh yeah i think it comes out uh the 18th this should, this should be out okay this comes out yeah um well i need you? to go first <laughs> in that i because geez um i am well i've actually been really weirdly uh like i said i've been the past couple months have been kind of crazy uh which is being pregnant and so my mind has just kind of been on that but i'm realizing i really need to 
um, follow through on these, speaking of charity, these charity incentives I've done. So I need to still watch Moana with uh, Jen, and uh, I need to get that uh, Cowboys jersey framed and put in the background. Yeah, um, yeah I know. Not looking forward How to that. that happened. Yeah, yeah. Well, he raised uh, 25K for St. Jude, and so I was like, all right, well, that, that seems like a minimum amount. So, yeah. Um, I still need to do a cooking stream. Uh, I still need a, a PM is saying dye my beard pink. In place of doing that, I did donate because I was like, I don't want to bleach it. I'll do anything I can other than bleaching it. And bleaching is the only way because my beard is so black. But I have been leaning more towards doing it anyway, even with the donation. So, um, because it'll grow back. Like, whatever. Like, I'm not going to, no one's ever gone face bald from dyeing their beard that I'm, I'm aware of. So, that's um, good point. yeah exactly so yeah and then yeah I think I said cooking stream and then I was thinking about just making a video on uh, Thanksgiving turkey so people are very interested in how I smoke things and prepare things and so I was going to make a, a video series on me preparing and making the turkey what that looks like and then also I have some unreleased VODs or vlogs what that I recorded. yeah yeah some 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 vlogs from last year of like my morning and getting ready and, and hanging out with Obi and Tirza and getting them off to work. So people were like, we want to know what you do before you stream. And so I was like, all right. So I did it. Uh, I did not post it because I was super self-conscious, but now I'm like, what Who the cares? hell ever? Like it, it doesn't matter. It, it, I've been caught doing worse things on the internet. So it really doesn't matter. Um, it really, really does. Yeah. And, and if it's it does different again remember it's different than what you normally do so it, it will 100 exactly. percent have less views probably than yes. normal that but it also has the potential yeah. to just unlock something that people love yeah. that you didn't know about and if people love it and i get used to it maybe i become a vlogger and that's the thing like, i mean that's basically what happened with with my hosting right now which i love doing and want to keep doing and and whatever i didn't just know did yeah that i was going to be like quote unquote good at it or have any type of skill in it until I just said yes to an opportunity. And then here we are like now I'm, yep. now I want to do it. Now it's like a, a thing I want to move forward. And I didn't know until I tried. So, um, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. And, 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 uh, really quick, uh, the, the thing you just said with the, what was it? The cooking Turkey? stream. Yeah. The yeah cooking, cooking stream. stream. Yep. So we, <laughs> one of our incentives on our end, uh, and I'm, I just, dude, I want to hit this so bad because I think this would be the best stream ever. Have mm. you seen the girl? I cannot, is it called chaos Co cosplay? Uh, uh no. where, where literally everyone's so. like, you should be Kermit. And then she's like, okay. And she just like gets a bunch of random shit and makes herself what? into Kermit. It's no dude. It she, and she just laughs all the time. I think she smokes weed or something. While she's doing it. There is actually that one. There's the one girl who does the cosplay makeup, but she the whole thing is she eats an edible before. Oh. So it's like she's oh. hilarious too. If you never see, I cannot remember. But in YouTube, she just gets super ch giggly, yeah. and everything makes her laugh, and then it just turns into like an absolute mess. So Kate and I were like, we should do do this. So basically, we want if we get it, chat's gonna be like, okay, we want you to be Buzz Lightyear, and then yeah. Kate and I have to go to like a Joanne's fabric, get a bunch of random shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then Enjoy sit here and just fabric. figure out how to do it yeah. like like just like cutting out cardboard and taping it on in my head and like mm -hmm. not doing it well like just seeing as close to we can get as possible and then like modeling it and wearing it for the stream that'll be so fun to do and hilarious really good yes but it's a chick on tiktok she's australian i cannot remember her name but oh, dang dude it, we'll give her a shout out next it, time it, it, she laughs every time she's yeah. anytime remotely amusing she laughs so like it's just cuts of her laughing i will donate to get you to that goal 100 percent. i'm excited oh, for your, your so charity funny. stream i'll be streaming during that time as well but uh before and after i'm gonna pop in 100 yeah dude you can 100 percent pop in whenever you want oh, and say hello and um That'd yeah great oh god um all right well guys that is our that is our ama podcast that's it those were some good cues and I hope you enjoyed all of our A's. I hope you enjoy our A's, guys. <laughs> Those were great cues, but our A's are even better. Big fan of the A's. I'm going to stop. Mm. I'm going to stop. Oh, it. no. Clip it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Oh, Trevor demands trade to the A's. Yikes. Please don't. I heard the toilets don't flush sometimes. Um, oh, God. 
No, it's like a running joke. Anyway, not neither here nor there. This has been the May Contain Action Podcast. We are short on time, and we need to get you back to whatever the hell you were doing before you listened. You can listen to the full episodes on Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts, and watch highlights from the show on our YouTube. But not from this episode. <laughs> So sorry, sorry. Make sure you checking out uh, uh, Paul's uh, uh, incentives as he does them. I'm sure this, you know, especially going in the holidays, perfect time to do it. So exactly. And uh, uh, and and I hope to see you at my charity stream as well. And we'll see you guys in stream. Let us know if you guys are listening to the pod and you like it. And uh, you know, we like to do this kind of format even more. Um, see how many, you know, maybe hey, maybe one time we bring like four guests on at once. We just banter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a crazy ass Discord call. Ice limit. Yeah. Sky's the limit. Love that. All right, guys. You have a good day, and we will see you next time on the show. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.